right here we have a 150. Um, I don't know why I forget every time. Seems like these are no, these are okay. 150 fourth scale. Uh, some of the other ones I do are 153rd, but this is uh, a 140. Uh, 154th scale. Uh, Thomas uh, built HDX, <coughs> um, actually safety liner HDX, uh, HDX model. Again, if you haven't seen these videos before, these cars or buses are completely metal. Uh, the windows are not even windows, they're actually just painted black to appear as windows. Um, so there's nothing, just like I said, just a solid uh, cast piece of. Uh, um, I don't know what they make them out of. They're not aluminum, but anyway, some kind of pot metal, magnesium, or something cheap, I'm sure. But regardless, uh, they are what they are. Still a pretty cool model. This one has been decaled. Uh, bus number 178077. I'm falling apart. Uh, Clark County School District uh, on both sides. This is for a customer. I won't mention any names or anything. Uh, just leave it at that. But uh, it's for a gift, I believe. So you can see uh, name and number on both sides. As for the lighting, um, this button right here in the center on the front of the bus is the headlights, tail lights, and front park lights. You can see those parking lights there. Of course, you can obviously see the headlights because they're brighter than crap. Not that crap's bright. Um, and also your tail lights. Steady tail lights. Go ahead and turn those off. Uh, press the yellow button. Obviously, get your yellow wigwag flashers. These are true alternating flashers. Of course, front and rear. Turn those off. I didn't have my red paint is actual enamel, so it takes longer to dry. So I don't want to push right in the center of it. Messed it up. Uh, ready, ready steads. Red wigwag uh, front, and there's the rears. And of course, in all the videos, that you obviously <coughs> you can run the um, uh, steady lights as well with it. Stop sign does swing out, does not light up. We know that though. Um, and if you so desire, you can run all the lights at once if you want. Just run the battery down quicker. It's not gonna hurt anything, but that's what it will do. So there we go. Uh, as far as battery in this one, it's a nine volt battery. Put those inside the bus on these. Um, <clears throat> just remove the three screws, one here by my thumb, one here in the center, and one here at the back. You can just lay the bus on its roof. I usually do that and then lay it on a, I always do all my work on a towel down here anyway, but just lay it on a paper towel or a, a towel or a wash rag or something, washcloth, wash rag. It's straight out of Kentucky right there. Uh, just take those three screws out, and then this uh, bottom will lift out of the bus. Just kind of swing it forward, and the butt of the battery is going to be down in here in this area inside the bus, inside some foam uh, to keep it from rattling around. So that was actually the wheels rattling. So the battery's in there pretty secure. So anyway, there you have it. I appreciate the order. Uh, sorry about all the confusion with PayPal and trying to get it through eBay and this and that. Uh, like I said, it is uh, finished up and it's ready to go. So as soon as we get that invoice taken care of that I sent you through PayPal, we'll uh, uh, get it mailed out to you. Appreciate it. Uh, again, sorry for all the issues back and forth with the uh, PayPal and eBay. Thank you again for the order.